Hi, I'm Marcus, and I'm going to cook for you a fantastic rump of lamb. And I'm going to do a lovely garlic and herb boursin crust with the mint capers and some sorted potatoes and spinach. So we're just going to warm up the pan, drop a little bit of oil in. Okay. And just while that's warming up, we're going to get our crust made. So we're going to start off with our mint. Now, fresh mint's really important with anything like this if you're making a nice crust because you get that lovely freshness. So we're just going to add that straight into here. Our capers and our breadcrumbs. And of course, our borsa. So the mint's going to bring that freshness and lift everything up, but we've still got that lovely garlicky, intense flavour coming from the borsa. And then we're going to blitz that all together, so... Perfect. Okay, so I'll just show you the texture. So we still want that sort of softness in here. So you still get that texture of the borsan in here. We're going to get our lamb into our pan and get that sealed off. Now, we've got quite a nice bit of fat that sits on top of the lamb rump. So we want to really render that fat down. First thing we're going to do is just to season our bit of lamb, just with a little bit of salt and pepper. So now we're going to go skin side down and just get that sizzling. So we're going to break down that fat, let it render down a little bit. I'm going to seal this on all sides, okay, until we get this ready, and then it's going to go off into the oven. We're going to have a look now and just have a little peek and just see the colouring on the bottom of the lamb here. And as I turn it over, you just see that fat's all rendered down. You've got a lovely golden colour. So that's really important to make sure we get that nice, even colour all the way through. So I'm going to pop that up to my tray, okay, and we're going to pop some of this on top of our lamb. And that's just going to sit and we're just going to push that down so it just sits on top of the lamb and then we're going to take that off and pop that in the oven for around about five minutes 180 degrees okay so this has come out of the oven it's all cooked now so we're going to allow it to rest and that's really important just to allow the, the juices just to relax so i'm just going to pop that on the, the board here and just let that rest for a few minutes now the next thing we need to do is get that pan remember we've got all the lovely lamb juices still left in there so we're going to pop that back onto the heat and just turn our heat up Let's grab our potatoes. I'm just going to slice them out just to make a nice sort of potato. So straight through, just a nice saute shape. Okay. Now all we're going to do is add these into our pan, and we just want to get a nice colour on each side with these ones. Just a little piece of butter in there, and just let that butter melt down, and then just start turning those potatoes just one by one. Give them a little turnover. lovely colour on there. A little bit of salt and pepper. So you can see they've got a lovely golden colour on now so we're just going to remove those from the pan and just pop them in a nice warm bowl. Okay and then the pan goes straight back on the hob okay. Next thing a little bit of butter and we're going to get our spinach cooking so butter in a warm pan then we grab our spinach and all we're going to do is add our spinach into the pan. We're going to add that all in so we're just going to start turning that around. And all we want to do is literally just allow that warm butter just to simply wilt it down. You can see how much that's reduced. So really big pan full of spinach has gone down to almost nothing. Okay, season that. So we're just going to turn the heat off on there. And I'm going to leave that just for a second and now we're going to start plating up our lamb. So first thing we're going to do is just to get a few of these lovely sorted potatoes on the bottom. And then a little bit of our spinach to go on top. Beautiful colour. And then of course our lamb just to finish off. Keeping that crust on top. And there you have it, a fantastic rump of lamb with a lovely garlic and herb borsan crust with some mint and capers, sorted potatoes and spinach. And really is a perfect dish for Easter or any special occasion. To discover more recipes visit borsan.co.uk.